Hey, how's it going, Spy here, and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic Follow Shelter episode. So this episode, guys, we are going to be checking out some new updates to the Abandoned Wing that I showcased last episode. So let's head on over to the Abandoned Elevator Shaft over here, and the first thing you will notice is the Elevator Shaft is a little different as well. So I already have it open here. Um, normally it would be closed and there would be tape here. But since we already checked it out last episode, it is open. So let's head on down over here and you will see that there is a broken down elevator at the bottom here. Thank you, Ben Fletcher, for giving me the idea to make a kind of broken down elevator at the bottom here. So let's hop on down. This is kind of dangerous. I was going to add like a little ladder here, but what I think I might do is I may paint some uh, ladder pieces here. I think that would be the best. Something like this. It's not actually there, but I don't really have room to make another ladder. So th this kind of works. It doesn't look the best though, does it? Ah, whatever. It, it is good. It is good. And there we go. So we have like this little ladder painted on the side there. I guess it's somewhat there. You could climb up it. Um, even though technically you would have to get some seats and climb up it like this if you were actually on the map. That works out too. But for now... We just got that design there for the story. We got some boxes, I guess, here for people to climb out of the elevator. And as you can see from the elevator, it is kind of on a slant. It looks like it crashed down at the bottom of the elevator shaft and is broken. It's out of service forever. And yeah, makes it look a lot more abandoned and run down. So there we go. We got that. Thank you once again, Ben, for giving me the idea for that. If you guys have any of your own ideas, post them in the comments and I will most likely read them. Anyways, let's head on down to the back of this abandoned wing here. Now, you see, we're saying I should add a little science lab. And what I did is I made a really big expansion here. This is a whole new area, pretty much. This is pretty huge. So in here, what we have is the... Oh, that's dangerous. It, it's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. That works. So, like I was saying, this is like an airlock or a decontamination area here. We got these doors here that have been broken open, pried open, or something. Something got in or something got out. The doors are just jammed open. So, in here, we got some mugs. And that is because there is these little sprinklers on the roof. So someone's been using these cups here to gather water. It could just be the creepy rat guy again. <laughs> Trying to get some water from the abandoned wing here. There's something pretty cool in this episode that I will be showing you guys in terms of the rat guy from a few episodes ago as well. We'll get into that a little more later though. So in here we got like a, another little area here. This I guess is like the change room where you get your lab coats and your lab clothing so that you don't contaminate anything. So we got some lab coats here. Got a blue one there and hangers there. We got some arrows pointing this way. And yeah, as you can tell from here, this is another door. These doors are pretty thick and something broke a hole right through it. I don't know what it was, but you guys will see in a little bit what it could be. All right, let's head through here. This is just like a little hallway. Um, the sign's facing the wrong way. There you go. That works quite a bit better. Anyways, let's head on down the stairs here. So we got a big skull and crossbones here because this is a dangerous zone. There could be biological hazards or worse. Anyways, let's head down the stairs here. Ooh, what's that? A green goop on the floor. What could it be? Not sure yet, guys. Not sure. Let's continue down into the science lab here. So we got like a little a lobby area here for another big blast door type thing here. It has been pried open as well. It is broken. There's more goop on the floor, but we will follow it into the science lab here. We got like a little keypad and eye scanner thing here. I should have put one on this side. I think that would make sense. There we go. That works. Okay, let's head on over here. And there's more goop here. And there is another broken door. But if we go in here and we crouch down, you guys will see something pretty scary. 
Look at that. <laughs> you probably can't tell what that is because I had a really difficult time portraying it in Scrap Mechanic, but if you guys have played Fallout, you can tell what that is, and that is actually a giant rad scorpion. <laughs> I don't know why it is down in Science Lab area, but it kind of fits. I said early on when I started this series that I wanted to add some type of creature down in the Fallout shelter. And I think I said it was going to be a rad scorpion for some reason. And there we go. There's a giant rad scorpion down here. It could be an experiment. It's probably part of the vault experiment. Um, but yeah. So we're going to take a quick look at it. Usually you wouldn't get this close to one, especially in a, a vault where you're pretty much defenseless unless you went to the armory up above. But you know what? There we go. Look at that. That's a rad scorpion. Pretty cool. Its legs aren't the best, but you know what? <laughs> I think it works. I didn't have much room for it down here, but yeah. Anyways, let's just pretend we didn't get that close to it, and let's head on over to this room. But anyways, you guys have been saying you wanted to see some experiment type things. And what we have here are some test tube thingies. So these were like an FEV, forced evolutionary virus tube thing. This is where they would do experiments on humans and force them to get mutated into super mutants or something else whatever is placed inside these tubes kind of gets uh mutated I, I don't know that was from fallout but in terms of our fallout shelter let's just say it's some type of biological experiment so yeah we got a bunch of tubes here we got four of them we got the little control panel here and it looks like something here has broken out and escaped. Maybe it was the giant rad scorpion here. And maybe this is just like his little cave now. Uh, I'm not sure. But what these are, these are actually goopy footprints. Yeah, and they lead out of the science wing here. Maybe someone got out. Maybe it's the creepy rat guy. I don't know. I don't really know. But anyways, over here, we got a blocked off door for a... um. Really good reason. You you don't want to go through this door with that guy there. I don't even know if he can reach you. And we got some a general furnishings of the place. We got a tipped over shelf here with a vent cover popped open. And through here, it'll lead us to the backside of the rad scorpion. You gotta be really careful. You gotta be fast. Okay, ready? Ready, guys? Here, here we go. Run, run. Okay, we made it. We made it. So this is the science lab. This is where they would make the chemicals, the viruses, the diseases, or the strains, or whatever else they're trying to experiment. We got some type of plant here. Um, it's like a mutated Venus flytrap, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure. From Fallout New Vegas, they had some really weird plant creatures. I don't know if anything like this was in there, but yeah, we have this. Sure. Sure. I'm sure there's a lot of other creatures we haven't seen in the Fallout universe yet. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's open to some pretty wacky creatures. We could turn the lights on here. And we got some more malfunctioning lights. The circuits there must be shorting. And it's flashing. I'm going to turn that off before someone gets a seizure. <laughs> and that is pretty much it except for this here. And this could be the Garden of Eden creation kit. Some of you have been saying I should make that. And this could be it. Or it could be something else. This It could be... um. Just a suitcase with buttons. Sure. <laughs> you guys can make up your own little stories to whatever I design in here. I'm not going to go too in-depth with everything. But we have this. I guess this could be the geck. So that is pretty much it for this little science wing here. But if we um, scuttle through the vents here again and hop up here. This will lead us all the way back over here. And... um. This is actually the lab vent here, but if we head over here, this will lead us all the way back to the recreational wing of the fallout shelter. <laughs> so right here, we got some ladder pieces, I guess these pegs here, which we can kind of jump up. They're a little difficult, but it's possible. I already did it like three times. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm not gonna cheat. I I totally I totally made it up by myself, guys. Totally. <laughs> okay, well, this part's pretty easy. And there we go. So we are back up here at the hidden little room here. Look at that. 
And this just falls all the way back down if we wanted to. It's a little dangerous. It's probably a good idea to use those, those pegs there. And this here leads us back to the storage room up there. And this here leads us to the shower room. If we head back here. And bam. We are now in the shower room. But anyways, that is pretty much it for all of the new things at the moment. We have a few more openings for rooms down at the science wing. So if you have any suggestions for that or any other type of room, let me know in the comments. We still have a lot of possibilities and room for extra things in the follow shelter. Our frames are still really good. Sitting right here, I get 150 frames per second. So let's keep going with the series. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.